What's going on, everybody? I'm here running the career mode back in a set of course uh, uh, with Chris, actually. So, he's here. So, he's going to help us. Don't know what we're doing still, uh, but he's here. So, he's going to help. And We are here. I've turned up the damage rate to 60%. Last race, it was 40. I didn't really feel the damage when I wrecked two or three times. I think that video is out. I don't know if you watched that one or not, but... Uh, uh, I did, yes. Yeah, wasn't that good. I was digging the first race, and I switched over Doug and wrecked, so it was kind of funny, but... <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Everybody got quicker? I was like, I was going to turn up the difficulty and all that, and it was actually not too bad, but it's like, Jesus. All right, so I obviously picked McLaren. Didn't know if I should or not, but... So there's only one, one practice, but it's also in the day, so I think what we're going to do... Can we just skip from here? Green light. Go, go, go. I'm going to skip session. There we go. Okay. So I'll skip session and go right into qualifying. We're getting right to it. Oh, yeah. Tighten this thing up. All right. Um, aggressive setup. Fuel strategy. Crank it down. Have you played with a new McLaren yet? Or that McLaren? Uh, Yeah. I ran that last race in it. Oh, perfect. So it's not bad. No, it's it's definitely. I mean, it's not as sexy as the 720. Oh no. Oh yeah. I it was either this or the the uh, the uh, shoot the uh, Honda. Yeah, Honda. And I was like, yeah, but the Honda. It was either they, yeah. just because in the Jaguar, but I didn't really want to run that. But I thought, eh, I like and McLaren because of road racing and F1 and stuff, so I'll do that. And then, yeah, I was like, eh. And the Jaguar is the V12 version, so. Oh, really? It's a beast. Yeah, it's a freaking beast to drive. How's it on the straightaways? It's loud, and <laughs> it's all right. This thing's quick it's just, when it's not raining. It's just really loud. It's, like, louder than the Audi and the, uh, now we're getting... In the Lamborghini. <laughs> oh, that'd be scary. Get that, get that Screamer V12 in it. Jesus. But, no, I mean, I, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with that Honda after running for uh, Honda's HPD. So uh, is that uh, what you guys ran for it? Yes. So that was... You ran the GT3 um, one or the GT4? You guys ran the GT... The GT3s. Oh, I thought you guys were in the GT4, okay. No, no, you had to basically set qualifying time with the Honda NSX GT3, and then I got uh, at the top 25 moved on to the race, and there was three three people out of the North America market that got selected. Okay. Uh, na naturally, I did not get selected. <laughs> see, when, so look on the map, you see how they're all blue? Does that mean, like, yep. they're on their outlaw? Is that what that means? I think so, yes. Okay. Because then they go gray once they cross start finish line. Correct. Yeah, because so. if you see yourself in the pits, you're blue. Yeah. And then as you come out, you're blue, and as you cross over the line, they go, you go gray. See, well, this is why red. I have you there. You're red, but yeah. it's just to locate so, you. So, yeah. You'll see all these guys turning gray. Gray see? at Boop. the line, yeah. Boop. So everybody's on to their flying lap now. Yeah. I... Who am I as right now? Am I playing as me? Or, yeah, I'm as me. I don't get why the hey. number's one, because I picked the number to be 05, so... Well, I think that's just the number that you pick your number for anything else in the game. Yeah. I, mean, I think in the career, I think it's just based on certain oh. criteria, I guess. It's weird. Yeah, kind of like high racing. You oh, know, no, that's... You... I'm overall number one. I am number five. Right. Okay. Never mind, never mind. Yeah. I always... I freaking keep seeing that, and it jacks me up. Like, on the left, one, two, three, four, five, and I looked over, and then right next to the symbol, Clarence symbol, it says five, so... Like in, I, in online, sometimes, depending on what you're doing, like for mine, I had my car numbers usually number 24, but because of 25th from the speed charts, it's the number I got. Yeah. 
them up on time, but so I'll complete this lap, but and then skip it. Yeah. So the way that works, I mean, it's kind of cool the way they do, and you know, you watch it on real life on YouTube. You know, they'll do their qualifiers, and then you know, then they'll have two sprint races, race one and then a race two. That's cool. I think I can't remember. Did they invert the field on that? I can't remember. In this, they don't. No, one of, one of them they do. I think I can't remember. Charge chills off now too. By the way, I'm trying it. Gonna give her some whaley. See what happens. I'm losing time though. <laughs> Yeah, it's not easy. You know, the, the game really makes you have to drive. Damn it. You know? Oh, yeah. Damn it, I was up two tenths from when I... before hitting that corner. Oop, killed the cone. Oh, I'm gonna lose all my time, final corner. Final sector. Yep, that'll do it. Ah, there it went. Alright. Skip session. Let's go. I wanted this piece of equipment to really give me this much of a problem. What is? Not all this piece of equipment here, Art. Oh. About ready to take a hammer to it. <laughs> and just constantly keeps beeping at me. I can hear it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Oh um, my god, shut up. Oh. Bill strategy, lower this again. And crank oh. dampers arrow. So, okay. It doesn't let me adjust the splitter, but I know if you do this, it dips the note. Never mind. Right height, put the rear wing up, and do it like that. Rears never get so hot. That. that never gets hot. So I did that last time. All right. So you're gonna give yourself more rear downforce. So yeah. if you look at your bottom down there, your front arrow variation is yeah. negative four percent. Is that good? So it'll, I mean, it'll, it's gonna add a lot of drag because you're you've got a really high wing. So you're definitely not going to have any straightaway speed, but you'll be able to stick in the corners, per se. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And, that's what I'm going for. And as far as with GT3 cars in, in this game, whereas it might not be as noticeable in iRacing, these yeah. cars are very, very aero, you know. Yeah. The slightest change in rake, like if you have a lot of high-end, uh, a lot of rear height and low front height, yeah, it just changes the rake of your car insanely. And... You can throw the balance off on the car. It's, it's super sensitive. Really? Yeah. That's cool. And most of the times, unless the car actually has a front splitter. Um, oh, so then that's it. why it can't. I can't change it because this one probably doesn't have it. Right. Caution. Electro should be replaced. Ah. <sighs> Trying to heat up brakes. I'm just dragging them right now. Well, believe me, with those uh, closed right up to a number one, those brakes will get hot real fast. Oh, yeah, they're hot now. And then you'll, you'll notice even more because you'll start, uh, when you go deep into a braking zone, those things will start glowing red and they'll That's start cool. squealing after you after a little while because you just bore those pads out. <laughs> The next best thing is you have different uh, different pads. Yeah. So when you're in settings, if you start running brakes. You change brakes. Yeah, I saw that in the race last, or first race. Well, well brake one, so there's actually a whole, i got to find it. I have to, I'll have to send it to you. But there's a whole document. Um, each brake pad, number one, number two, number three, yeah. number four, those all have different characteristics. I think number one has, like, the most bite. And the more stopping power. So oh. you use something like that on like one of your sprint races here. Whereas you might use like a two or a three for an endurance race. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. Yep. A bit different. Very yeah, different. I was going to say, mine, uh, I just saw that you can change them in the race. I didn't know about that. I just know that you All can right. change them. You can change I was them like, damn, that would take hell long. So is there team driving in this game? Like if we did one online? 
Uh, it depends. Um, it depends on the race that we join. So... Oh, Jesus. And I haven't done it yet, because I haven't had anybody on yeah. the game to race with, as far as a team driver. So you'd have to sign up for a team event, or find a lobby that's hosting a team event, sign up for it, and then join in somehow, like I race it. I'm not entirely sure how that works yet. Yeah. Um... I have to watch it to be honest. I you haven't really try done it. Because I would love to try it. Oh, yeah. You know, and they do it just the same way. I don't know if you just have to join the same server. I don't I don't know how that actually works. At least in this game. I know this lap felt pretty good. I'm racing as Doug now, so. Ooh, may have overshot this corner, though. No, we're digging. And it's hard because if you try to register for, like, See, right there, race, you can change sprites. Right. But you're also required to have a minimum of three drivers for insurance. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, even if it's like 14? We or mean? not 14. Uh, where the hell did I get 14 from? I don't okay, know. that didn't happen. Uh, we're going to skip the session. Uh, even if it's like a two hour race? Well, like it depends. Um, usually for like a two hour race, they don't, you don't necessarily need a driver. Hmm. Um, you don't need to swap usually. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm starting dead last. They inverted the field. Oh, great. There you go. Well, good to know. Good to know. Now you get to work on it. Oh boy. So we're feel a little yeah, bit. Yeah, take, take, go back to your brakes. Uh... Fuel and strategy. Oh, that, yeah. Now, see where it says brakes? Drop that down. To, nope, up top where it says fuel. Drop that oh. to number one. That should give you the highest bite brake pads possible. Oh. All right. And then front brakes, pit stop strategy. Okay. And then mechanical grip. Any roll bar. Let me up that because that seemed to help last race. I'm going to do that, just in case. Just a little bit. How much? Well, you can really jack this thing up. Holy cow. You can get it to where it's based. So if it's positive... That means you, if you, it's positive, that means you have more front arrow. Oh, you really? Have, oh, yeah. If it's negative, that means you have less front arrow. Oh, okay. Let me try it. I don't know. I don't know. I should probably leave it alone, but I'm trying different stuff. And rears don't really get hot. Fronts don't really get hot, so I've been going to one and two. Or, I should probably flip that, but... Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know if it saved when I did that. Like, I just go out mess with it. Alright, race number one, starting dead last. Going double five. Good to know, good to know, good to know. Uh, set it to change driver. Alright, we're setting off. You ready? Do it. Alright. So, just brake going. pad one means very aggressive and lasts about three to four hours max. Oh, Brake oh. pad four is called the, uh, Oh yeah, I'm cooking the fronts right now. I'm getting them warm. They're oh, still yeah. green. There we go, green. Green it. Green is warm. Yeah. I'm assuming green's good. Yes. Yeah. Blue is cold. Green is good. Red is bad. Makes sense. I'm sticking at three. <gasps> Butt cheeks puckered on that one. See, and I qualified on pole, so, or maybe, did it, since I skipped, <gasps> since I skipped session, did it just get rid of my lap? Mm, no one thinks so. It might, it might have. Oh, boy. Because I did it for the other one, though, too. And I guess the second race is quicker, because that's how it was before in the other race. Holy hell, I passed the guy on the outside. We're digging now. See, and I was so confused, because it said pit windows as requirement right there. 
And then uh, yep. in the other race, I was like, uh, is that going to change? Because I'm assuming changing driver, when I clicked it, it went green, tire swap. It went red when I changed it. So I was like, um, I don't know when. And then it finally went up and tell, told me to pit now. So I was like, oh, okay. Right. So, yeah, once the pit window opens, it'll turn green. And as long as you have everything set up properly, all you got to do is make the pit stop, and it'll change the driver, and then you resume control of the car again as normal. All right. But that was something I didn't understand at first when I was on Xbox, and I spent oh. more time freaking getting black flagged and driving through penalties. <laughs> I don't even know where pit road is on this, so that's going to be fun. Uh, Should we try the outside? All right. I'm going to try outside until you get over the top of that hill. Oh, God. Audi tried it. I'm uh, pitching the guy. <gasps> oh, my God. Running three is a lot more scarier in this game than iRacing. Like NASCAR stuff, mm -hmm. I'm perfectly comfortable with it. Three wide on a road course, eh. Two wide in this, sketchy. Like, I'm there more is, scared running two sketchy. in this than. I've kind of figured out how the AI works a little bit. Like, if you chop them, they'll let you in most of the time, but. Like, off the center, but. You're definitely gaining some safety rating. You're already up to 31, so that's good. See, and I turned that on, I think, for uh, offline, too, so that's good. I mean, there's probably a way that you can cheese it and just go out, start dead last, and by turn one, you're ahead of everybody, but... Yeah, you could, but your safety rating only goes up for how well you're... You know, how clean and safe you pass cars and shit, so... Oh, okay. Like, I was scared I was going to plow on the back of him right there. Come on. Let's get going. Get up on a wheel now. Little dive, little dive. <laughs> Don't hit the Bentley. You can see what it is because it says Bentley on the back. <laughs> yeah, the old Bentley. I think it's a monster. And it sounds so good too. Isn't it all? Wasn't it like even in real life? It's the fastest down the straightaway. Well, I mean, because it's got more mm -hmm. swoop or something. Well, that's got that's a Bentley Continental GT3, which is the V8. But, oh. You know the other other Bentleys that are out there. We get some fast gnarly Bentleys out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of people love the Bentley. All right. Up to seventh now. Nice. Lap two. Now, leaders are entering the next corner. So I'm how far back from them? Oh, you can't see yeah. fully. You can't see the entire thing. So I don't know. Well, you're five seconds four behind, point. yeah. Four yeah, seconds five behind. Five seconds behind four. Yeah. There's some ground to make up. Oh, yeah. 15 minutes. We got time. Well, you can also do an undercut, you know, be one of the first ones to pit, get a clean pit stop, and yeah. fucking make it happen. And that's kind of what I was thinking, and I did the first race. And uh, then I went in with one guy, and he ended up wrecking me. And I was like, exiting pit road, or some, or somehow, I forgot how I got back to the back, but I, I remember I pitted first, but just I got wrecked or something happened, and I didn't have enough time. Yeah, that's usually how it works. We're going to 29.3. I did like the setup changes, though. Rear feels a lot planted. Like, it cuts really good, but then it feels like it's going to come around, but then the rear just holds it. So I did yeah. like those changes. This Lamborghini and me are catching the guys up front or up ahead. Little pack. Come on, baby. Come on. Give me the give me the draft. Slipstream, whatever. Go for a dive? No, too far. This is a sweeper corner. I'm not gonna do that there. This corner. Uh, maybe. Got it. Not clear yet, but clear. Clear, clear, clear. Oh, 
fucking How bad? Using up that fucking fuse up that left rear or something hard there, kid. <laughs> yeah. What? Leaning on it. Is it? Oh, I can kind of see the difference in the temp. <laughs> he's, he's creeping. I'm also digging through the field right now, so. It's a good thing you get a change in four tire pit stop, because damn. You'd have that fucking left rear fucking gone before the end of the fucking race. <laughs> hey, no reason to save. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, it is. It is going. Holy crap. Uh huh. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was looking at it, it's imagine. yellow now. I can only imagine you fucking grained or blistered that bitch. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me do this. Um, what tire is that? Left rear? Yep. Front. What? Why is it FR or FL? That is stupid. Why is it like that? Do you see that? It's, it's R. Left, it's right, right left. Oh, it should be left front. That's stupid. Why is it flip? So what one is it? Am I on it? It's uh, left your, rear. Uh, yeah, left rear. rear left. Or front no, rear. rear left. Rear left. Oh, it's rear left. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, it's like in road racing terms, bud. Yeah, but I ain't used to that. All right, uh, rear left. Oh, pit window. Pit now? Pit window's open. Uh, yeah, pit now. I don't know pit, where to... Pit straight is right here, right here. Where's Cole? We're down in the first Cole. gear. And you'll see the pylons. Make sure you are on the pit limiter. And make sure you're stopping your box nice and square. All right. Like I said, I just got that set automatically, so we're good. You're all green, so you should be able to just have it fit. Ooh. See, I hate how you gotta turn off the tranny, or the thing. That really killed me. Well, it's a regulation in the game. Ooh, you just lost a bunch of time and you didn't stomp in the box. Yeah, right. I know. I realized that, and I was like, uh... I was more worried about the freaking tire. I was looking at the tire, looking at how bad it was. So can I start it up now? Nope. Does it do it automatically? I have that set to automatic, so. Oh well, yeah, it'll start automatically then when uh, when the pit stop is done. It has to, you have to take on fuel and tires, and the car drops, the car restarts. See, its controls go. locked up top, so. It's exactly. You cannot do a thing until your pit stop is done. There. Yeah, I lost time on that guy in front. Damn it. Yeah, I lowered the tire pressure, that corner, on the left rear, so. I probably, uh, you should have gone up on that. Gone up on it? Yep. The harder the tire, the less heat gets put in the tire. Yeah, but I was thinking, oh. oh. Yeah, if you, if you remember, if you run it softer, you're going to put more heat in the tire. Yeah. Because it's, it's softer, and so it's going to heat up, just as, it's going to heat up faster because you're going to more contact surface with the road. I thought it would, just because I was thinking about the tire pressure, because it was higher by, like, half a pound. Well, that's because, you know, I mean, the tire pressures will go up based Now it's crap! Base. What is wrong with it? The temps are fine on the tires. Why is it crap now? It's all freaking sideways. Well, that's because you only selected the uh, tire pressure on that one tire, not both rears. Oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. It's got to be symmetrical. Yeah, bloody. All right. Well. Well. It's time anyways, to do some driving. It won't be horrible as long as you don't roll on that fucking left rear too much. And it, it like I said, see, it's already equalizing now. Yeah. We just have to be. Everybody's pitting, so. Yep. They're all leaving so pit road driving. now, though. Damn. Well, you get a couple of left pit road. Remember, seconds is a lifetime in the pits. Oh, yeah. And error is about four or five, so. <clears throat> mm hmm. He pulled a bully. <laughs> Overshot it by a mile. So, yeah, you were up to what, sixth when you came in? Uh, s yeah. Yeah, so. Which everybody might what, not have pitted to, but. <clears throat> and it may not have, but you have lost at least four positions in. Oh, yeah. We got nine minutes. I bet I can catch these guys in front, but I ain't gonna win it. I know that for a fact. Yeah, no, 
you know, I haven't necessarily won a race in the game ever yet. Oh, really? Yeah. I haven't done enough, so I'm like, well, I did. I won that one. I won the first race by a mile, but I also think it was easy because it was the first race, and I went to the second one, and they were about like this. They were quick. Oh, yeah. That's how it works. So if they're already quick in the first race right here, what is he going to do for the next one? <laughs> Be going like, like a bat out of hell. Seems like you're going to have to be on your A game. Oh, yeah. What? Remind me on the start of the next one to start adjusting my stuff, change the driver, all that. Yep. Try and shire pressure at the start of it before we get going green. Some other uh, Discord communities have been trying to get the Kunos and those guys at Percetto Corsa to fix that. Because when you're doing team events, it's really hard for the driver to. Oh, really? To you can't do that yeah. as the team? No, nope. they can't. Oh, that's stupid. Uh, yeah, that's what they're complaining is. It's like iRacing can figure it out. You guys can be able to figure it out. Yeah. Ooh. Because it's kind of. I will say I have seen the so. AI wreck themselves by themselves like once or twice. Oh shit! Which yeah. is kind. It's kind of cool. Like I like that. Like in NASCAR Heat, it's always a scripted wreck, or iRacing they just never wreck. Forza they never wreck. So this right. it's actually kind of nice. It's random, and it's nice. Kind of like how the old NASCAR inside line, I think, would always work. Would it would kind of be real easy with it, and it would be random, and not just middle of stage three or whatever. Right. Yeah, I'm watching the left rear. She's getting hot. <laughs> and we still got seven minutes left. Clear on the right. But doing that probably doesn't help it either. See, most Looking of the corners the are turning right, so that's why. Right. Up to P9. See, like this corner definitely doesn't help it. I mean, it bottoms out right there. And that's why sometimes even at Monson you'll see higher right side, uh, higher left side temps yeah. uh, and pressures than you will because most of those corners are, you know, turning right. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> what happened? See, I'm gonna drive his Doug most of this race or more time this race. But, you know. They say, I don't know when, like, because I put you as the team. So I don't yeah, know when change. you're going to go in it. Well, if you put Doug as your, as first before me, he'll always be ahead of me. Oh. They say, then when the longer races have, I don't know. How's uh, long the career? Well, it said it was like 26. I'm already at 26%. So it's like, if it's really just that short, that's kind of boring. Figured maybe you can well, go through the could, ranks. Well, what you could have done was, um, you could set up your career to have short, medium, and long. You know, so you could have had, you know... Oh, I don't know what I'd pick. 45-minute 45, 45 hour sprint races. And then when it came to, like, a 24-hour spa, it would have been 24 hours. Damn. See, I don't think I could have done that for an AR. So I would have reset career mode right there. <laughs> I think it's stimulated, so I think it's got a time multiplier yeah. on it, so you wouldn't... You know, yeah, you know, but it might be like a couple hours long or something stupid, you know. Yeah. Tires kind of staying at that same temp, tire pressure. I'm a lot quicker through here. I barely touch them and it spins me. That's what I don't understand. That's one thing I kind of question. Like I didn't touch him, or I barely touched him. I know I got really close, but I barely touched him about spun it. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because real life it would just turn him. He's in his eye pair, so that's kind of something. Well, it's no different than eye racing. Sometimes oh yeah, you touch yeah. Somebody and you, and you spin. Go for a ride. Oh yeah. Where are they going? Everybody's yelling and screaming. I'm 
I'm really good at the left-handers. Kind of shocking, isn't it? I think I might end up upgrading to fucking load cell pedals here real fucking soon. I was going to say, I think, honestly, and that's what Doug was saying, if I got something, he said I should do pedals because just a fill of them. But I'm like, I don't know how much different or better or like anything because I've never no, ran was, anything else. I so. mean, well, see, the pedals that I'm running, I have that modified pedal, which is, it's not necessarily a load cell, but it's load cell-esque. <laughs> see, I don't even so know what it, like the load cell does or like what it is. Like, I'm so just... Cell, well, for you, you you have like a certain, you kind of put yourself into a point where you memorize your braking position on your pedal. Yeah. You know, so you kind of hold your brake pedal and you kind of hold your leg back muscle-wise. Yeah. With, I mean, it's more of muscle memory. This one is just, you know, the load cell will basically act like you're driving into a race car. Mm -hmm. It'll be super stiff, you know, um, you know, and not, or like in your regular car. Yeah. You know, if you're driving a regular car. So it's a super stiff pedal. Like my pedal has a very little travel, um, and it's super stiff, but it's still a linear potentiometer style pedal. Yeah. Which is better than the, the Rio stat style. See, and I would just... like it to be hard with a medium throw. Like it, you can drive it or push it deep. Like this is how the G27s are. You can push it deep, but it's also easy to push. So like right. if I, like I like the distance of it because it's easier to manage. Like I tried the G29 pedals that my brother had, and it hard on the brakes, and you're already on the brakes. Like you're locking them up. It's like oh, right, and that, that's brake. just because that's because that's how those pedals were designed. You know, if you were to buy the Fanatec load cell, like the CSL load cell, or the V3s, like the Bully has, yeah, you can change how stiff or how soft you want your pedal, but it's at, the load cell is like a it's a load cell, so it measures your measures how hard you push down on the pedal not how far down and see yes i have been told that you could gain some people can gain a second or two seconds a lap by going from a, a standard and that's why i feel it's like you know what the way i was running would make sense you know i can control my braking yeah but of course with fan uh with logitech those brake systems actually have like this like high gain that's built into their software, so yeah. the harder, the, the further down you push on it, it, it pretends it's acting like it's pushing harder on the brake. So what's happening for me right now is I have my load cell in the software, or my semi load cell, that's helping me do a better job. The problem is that software still reads, and if I really crank on the brakes, it, it multiplies the amount of brake force per se through the software to act as if I'm pushing it harder with I'm really not. Yeah. So it ends up causing me more harm than good. See and I think so, what would be kinda of cool idea is at the start of the season, like if we're gonna do a longer season or whatever, the twenty four races, I would want to do it mm -hmm. now, get a new pedal, new setup, start at the very start of the season to see how good I do. And then by the end of it exactly. we'll see if I'm back to kinda of how I was and doing better. I mean NASCAR right. stuff it really wouldn't change that much I don't think, but still. No, a bunch of road course shit will. Oh, yeah. Just because it's the consistency of braking uh, is that much Short better. track stuff, that would oh, help yeah. a lot, too, because I've noticed, like, I've I've not gotten slower. I've not gotten quicker. But I know most of the guys that I race with and all that, they have decent pedals, and they got, like, $500 pedals or $1,000 pedals. And you could really cool. tell because they gap. And their yeah. wheel are they can pretty help. good. Yeah. And I'm like, I just can't do that well it's like 230 dollars for the csl low cell pedals from fanatec right now or you can buy the base pedals which would act just like what you have now mm -hmm. for a hundred bucks and then add the third load cell pedal afterwards for like 150. oh damn so it's the I'm last thinking, lap i didn't realize that that was quick i'm thinking next week i'm gonna freaking purchase uh if i have the money because i'm working some old, i gotta work tomorrow I'm gonna work from fucking 5 a.m. to fucking uh, <laughs> till like till like noon or one o'clock. And if I can do it, I'm gonna end up purchasing a set of pedals and then maybe the load cell, you know, a couple weeks after that. Yeah. 
because I'm I'm ready. To, I know I can go faster. I know I can be better. Yeah. And like right now. All right, race so two. You've got the CSL Elite Pedals Load Cell, mm -hmm. which is on the which is available at two twenty nine ninety six, or you can buy the CSL Elite Pedals for ninety nine ninety five. And then you can add the CSL pedals load cell kit for an additional 139. So it's like maybe I'll just purchase the pedals for a hundred bucks, and then in like a couple of weeks after the holiday, then I can order myself a load cell kit and oh, yeah. be be perfect. Because there is what type of pedal do you have? Uh, just base G27. All right, so let's. I think Rick Mosset might have. So you said yours G twenty sevens. Yeah, yeah. I'm on G twenty seven steering wheel, G twenty seven pedals, and that's the only thing I've ever ran for however long. All right, so let we get our tires. So you said higher PSI? Yeah, higher PSI will basically make the tire harder, so it'll be a little more slippery until yeah. it comes up to temp, but it won't overheat as fast. So it was at 57, or 27.7, or 25.7, so if I go to like 26.5 on both rears? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because um, no. the right front is 26.4 and the left front is 25.8. Right. So now go to try to lower the fuel right strategy. Front. Yeah, it's I lowered almost... that a lot. It was 60 and I went, or 62 and I went to 45. Yeah. Then I also have brakes, did all that. So, so check this out Rick Motec has what? a race car field brake load cell conversion kit. For Lodge Sick, G25, 27, 29, and 920. Oh. So By the way, I'm starting dead last again, so. Yep. Yeah, so skipping so it really wasn't with, good. Going double five. This comes with a 90. Go ahead. Yeah, it's a 129 129.95 that's not bad at all no and basically what you do is you insert it so you can basically take your brake pedal apart and you insert the load cell piece into your uh, red plastic housing where the spring is right now yeah and you put this contraption in and you run the wire out and plug it into the circuit board and then you plug the wiring from that comes off of your uh, the little piece that's actually checks for braking on your pedals and you plug it into the circuit board and it makes it into a load cell. Hmm. So it has uh, an L27 load cell kit is designed to replicate the pedal travel and resistance of a Formula 1 Daytona prototype and Formula Ford and Spec Miata braking system to grant you the ultimate in realism. When the brake pedal is under mid to full load, the pedal remains at a steady height so you can make heel toe downshifting possible without upsetting the balance of the car. Oh, see I can't, there ain't no way that you could in a G27. Which I don't think I could do it. I'd, I know it would take a lot of practice, but I don't think I could in general. I don't even know oh, how really, saying. but still. But yeah, this this load cell kit is just, it's an actual load cell. This is it's an actual load cell that 
to be designed. Oh, for that's these a crossover. Clear on the left. Clear on the left. So, most realistic, lo most realistic load cell mod available. Dampen pedal feel. I ain't Simple clear. There's a guy on my door. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I may be driving in a little bit hard, but still, I'm like, he was still there. Like, I knew he was there. I didn't turn in on him, but it was like, the spotter was like, still there, or clear. I'm like, no, the thing's red, so I don't think that means clear. And what's nice with this kit, it, it works with the Logitech wheel and Podner cable, which basically makes your pedals a standalone USB, so you'll get actual better braking feel and a bunch of other benefits with just having a standalone cable. So you could turn your pedals into a load cell pedal for $129. Hmm. That'd be interesting. Clear on the left. Yeah. Just a different feel. Cool. Yep. So, like, I'll, uh, a little bit later, I'll pull it up on my phone and I'll, I'll send you the I'll link. I'll let my dog out. Hold on. Alright. Alright, I'm back. So that way, if you wanted to look at maybe doing that instead of buying um, a whole new pedal set, you could spend. A, I mean, that's why I say it's one hundred twenty-nine dollars, and it's a you know one hundred dollars to the Fanatec pedal, the CSL pedals, yeah. and then you have then you purchase a load cell after that for one hundred thirty-nine, or just spend two twenty-nine with the whole pedal with load cell. So it's like. At that point, it's really preference. Up to P6, by the way. Just lap Perfect. one. First four minutes, so. Fucking getting it done. Left rear doesn't seem to be as hot. It's just the temp is a little bit hotter. Or the the, the temp pressures. seems to be good. Yeah, but temp is, or, yeah, pressure. And it feels pretty good, though, don't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, it, and you can also remember when you soften a tire, you add more sidewall flex. It's not like a low probe. Yeah. You know, so you're going to add a tremendous amount of flex, which is going to have a lot of roll in the actual mechanical grip of the car. And this kind of gives it a stiffer profile, and it keeps it from rolling over on it, which then in turn adds heat. Hmm. If we're going to start leaning on that left rear by giving her hell, you don't really want to have that much, you know, roll and softness of the tire, even though after it gets up to temp, you know, after a long race, you well, fuck. Right. So no, but if you're right running, there. if you're running in the rain or like really cold temps, that would be a good time, freaking, you know, stock tires. Oh, yeah. Why? Because you want to generate heat so you can get heat in the tire. You know, so that's what I would have done for the other race, that quick race that I okay. showed you. And then in the rain, a softer tire allows for more contact patch on the, uh, on the race on the racetrack. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hello? Who's it? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Who's there? You know who the fuck I no. am. What are you playing? Uh, Santa Corsa. I couldn't hear you. I'm making a video, so I got the audio turned up. I don't know who it was. I thought it was Bully for a second. Bully ain't even here. Well, I know, but I thought it was for a second. Well, I don't think Bully's gonna get on. He won't. He gonna be home in time. Well, if I can pass with all these guys, the leader is gone. He's found a corner right now, but the four in front of me are for a second. I'll fucking get so on it, son. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna pick next lap, I think is when it goes off. So if I can pass these four in this next lap, we'll be good. We're going to be digging. We're going to go for first. No, don't even go for a dive. Oh, you're an idiot. He went for the dive when I was going for a dive on him. Are you then he didn't even clear it. No. 
Here, split them. Clear-ish. Y'all are idiots. I'm coming through, boys. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon me. Come through. Clear. We digging, boys. He's 9.1 out front, leader. Doug Azel, why is that your name? Huh? Doug Azel. Because he's the first... He's the first driver. I put Doug as the first driver. Or, he's the first driver for this one. Then the next one, I'll be driving. When So when I pit, it's going to driver change, and it'll be me. This game's pretty fun, I will say that. I don't know much about road racing stuff, but it is pretty cool. Alright, pit window, please. It goes right now. Nope. Yeah. Still not. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, let's not jack this up. So, what button is it for the this? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Boom! I turned it off. Go. So if you have it set to auto. Don't touch it, because if you have it set to auto... Oh, it auto does it? Okay. That might be yeah, a point. Yeah, it'll auto shut off. Time. Yeah. Well, that kind of jacked it, because I know... So if I just... I should be wide open as soon as it goes to like one second. Just keep digging. Just start going. There we go. The hell? All right, go work, boys. Let's do this thing. Now you got some ground to make up. Oh yeah, let's go. I'm ready for this one now. Remember, it's a 30 second stop, and you average probably around 40 to 50 seconds in and out of pit total between yeah. the pit stop. So you should be able to freaking. What do you average in a lap? A minute 30. Yeah, minute 28 is my fastest. Yeah. Damn it, or I'm gonna just try straight off track. Ah, cold tires, getcha. Ah, every time, the lap after pit road, I suck. But the tire the temps say that they're good, so I don't know. Yeah, I just kind of drove sure. off track on the straightaway, but still. Well, the there was one other guy that good, pitted. The... Everybody else in front's pitting, so. I gotta do some driving now. Yeah, you do. Leader stayed out. Leader stayed out still. Oh. Come on! Stupid. Now they're leaving pit road. Damn it! Yep. If I would just stay out, I'd be perfectly fine. I'd be digging. Yep, but then oh. you'd go into pit, and then you'd be behind. I know, I know. Or... I'd just know. stay out the entire race. If that was something... Ooh, sure. Leader in the pits. See, it probably doesn't help because the pit stops are slow. My pit stops aren't quick. So that I didn't know if I had a shut off motor or all that, so. I mean, you went in what? Sixth place? Fifth place? Yeah. So you only Back came out eight? eight? Yeah, but there's three in oh, front well. that are really quick, and then the leaders are pitting now, so. Keep digging. Should be alright. I mean, you're still, you know, you're not dead. About the same spot, so. yeah. They're racing up so. here, too, so. That corner. Oh, 
Oh, Ooh, past the guy. He's still in pit road. <laughs> Seventh. You can get top five. Mm -hmm. And you've already got heat in your tires now, so you should be in good shape. We're well, digging now. You kicked off I two see tenths. Three front. Yeah, you're, you're closing in hard and fast. You say keep me updated on that. You're at almost three seconds now, and you, when you first come off straight away, you were four seconds, so. There we go. Trying to get your runs off the corner. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're racing hard for it too. Yeah, two and a half back now. Okay. Damn, how is that a slower lap? Say I'm running the red somehow. That felt like a really good lap. One and a half back. There we go. You get ten and a half back of the guy behind you, so you got plenty of time. I get a lot get through fourth. Here. Might be able to get top three. Yeah, you might be able to hit a podium. I'm sure why not. Would have mind that. Hey, you guys still check striking out. distance Bad ahead here. of you. I can see third, so. Is he gonna chop me? No. They arc it, so. I say, they arc it there, so if you just drive it on in, you're gonna get clear coming off. Alright. Come back here, Jim Manchester. He's three seconds, three. right? Yep, three seconds now. You're closing in on him, so. Alright. Two point seven. Super Bowl. Woo that was a runoff. Car on the left. See, if you did that in real life, you'd be black flag. <laughs> or get wrecked on purpose. From a dive that far back. Leader's ah. 17 seconds ahead, jeez. Yeah, you ain't catching me, guys. Uh, nice for the confidence there, crew chief. Hey. <laughs> You're just aiming for that podium. Oh, Don't yeah. fuck it up. <laughs> Make it happen. God dang it, Chris. You said one thing, it. I about jacked it straight off track. <laughs> Isn't it amazing though on how much the car changes in handling when you change your fucking oh, yeah. the balance of the car and tire pressure? Crazy. That's why you're with the GT3 cars. They're yeah. important to get a good setup to be fast. Under a second now. Come here, come here. I actually might be able to get second, maybe. Uh, you might. Yeah, leader is pulling you. away. Holy crap! And he's right up on lap traffic. Or never mind, no, he's not. But he's just pulling away. The second never place guys. Right. If you can get around hey, this guy nice and easy. You're within four seconds. You get about four minutes left. So you might, you might have a chance to get second. Need to gain a tenth of. Tenth every ten seconds. Right? My math right? I think so. Yeah, you're at uh, three and a half now, so just in that last few corners you gain half a second. Oh we got this, come on now. I'm coming for you boy. I'm coming. 
Here's Johnny. Griho Bunkaki. It's <laughs> quite the name. Here I come. Yeah, I think you can get on that fucking second step for today. Definitely ain't gonna get the win. I bet last. I bet if I could have probably been up front starting, I bet I could have been around him. Maybe not. Eh, I've caught him a little bit. We really are same pace. We're gonna have to go back and see lap times and all that after the race, but. This might be first. Next He's holding half lap. between 17, 5, and 18. So if we're like coming off the hairpin corner uh, at the start of lap or whatever, and it mm -hmm. the time goes out, is that the last lap, or does it go time runs out then next lap? Because I've kind of noticed that. Yeah. So if you if you cross the line, and let's say you get to the hairpin, is it zero when you come across the line? Yeah. That should be it. So you can go zero like now or something. Yeah, it should. But with anything other than the McLaren, there's usually a little box yeah. on, on the dash. That'll well, show on the, the right, times. on the left, it does. It says final lap. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. ready. Yeah, there you go. You know, you'll see it'll say, you know, final lap, and the checkered flag will show up. Yeah. Then Excuse see me, pardon me, before. coming through. Damn it, I lost a ton of time on my fastest lap. But I am catching leader now. Yeah, as I was gonna say, you were catching him hard, so. I ain't gonna get him, but. No, not in a minute and a half. You might be able to close in within like 12 seconds of him, but. Yeah. You set your corners and you're good to go. I wouldn't push too, too hard now. No need for that. Have you now. not met me? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'll just ride it out. Yeah, just ride the turn the corner. Leaders on final lap now, so. <laughs> White flag, right? Fastest lap of the race. Is it better to go over rumble strips or no? I wouldn't necessarily use all of them. If you look at the rumble strip ahead of you when you get into it and it is covered in black, then absolutely. But if, it, if there's no black color on that rumble strip, stay the fuck off. Okay. I was going to say, like, coming way. off or like that hairpin, it's like there's no one on it, but it, I see like little bumps and it upsets the car really bad, so. It, it does. It'll unload the suspension and it fucking bounces your ass straight fucking downtown. It's horrible. There's final lap, yeah. Yep, so as soon as you cross the, cross the line, you're done. I caught him a second. Yeah, it's always a basic rule of thumb that I've learned is if there's no coloring on that fucking curb, you stay right off of it or you're gonna have a bad <laughs> Or hey go. It's raining. No curb. And when it's raining, stay off of them. That shit's yeah. slippery as hell. There you go, P2. Let's go. From 16th to P2. I'll take it. Got overtake the overtime. Machine. Yeah, the overtake machine. So what is hammer time, professionalism, top qualifier, pole position? I mean, yeah, I get that, but... Hammer time is how hard you go. I don't know, there's a bunch of different... Oh, I was going. I was going to say, I was going. Here <laughs> I am, P2. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, let's see. Can you go to his time? Okay, look. So, oh, he had the entire sector. So he ran a 128.9. 128.9. I want a 127.9. Yeah. So what is purple? Oh, is that just his best? Okay. That's your, that, no, that's your fastest uh, sector. Yeah. So in that last lap, you had sector two and sector three was your fastest. Then you closed in with them under, just under 12 seconds, like I said you were. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Well, there you that go. was actually really good. I didn't mind it at all. That was that was fun. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it, cause yeah. glad no I had the help, especially. That was very useful. You can help me out whenever. I'll message you, cause I'll normally be recording at this time. So. Uh, well, usually I'm usually I'm at work, unless I'm home on the weekend. So. Yeah. But I'll let Are you know. Are you at work right now? Yeah. Of course I am. He's at work. I'm working and talking. <laughs> That's part about my job. What are you What are you doing right now? What am I doing right now? I am scanning fiber to go into a bake out oven. That'll sit there for the next forty eight hours. Look at that. That's a cool picture. Yeah, this is, I will say, uh, Chris, uh, if you want to do, like, a road race on iRacing, whatever, let me know, because I will definitely run it. Uh, I don't know kind of what time or whatever, but if you want to do, like, a VRS one, let me know. Well, we'll wait and see exactly, maybe this, you know, maybe something goes on this weekend. Yeah. Because the wife is off this weekend. I got to work from 5, so I'm going to come in for 5 and work till like, noon, 1 o'clock on Saturday. Yeah. You know, my time. Yeah. So. Um, I was going to say, yeah, I won't be home Saturday, so. Yeah, so, I mean, maybe Sunday we'll maybe we'll pick up a, uh, you know, we might do something. I do, I think if we are still considering running uh, the six hours of the Glen, that's coming up next month uh, in June, so. We can start practicing for it. We really need to start figuring out exactly what it is we want to actually run. Yeah. And, uh. And then start really hammer down practicing at the Glen with, you know, with no drive line. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because, you know, if we're going to run that race. Yeah. You know, if we have four of us, it's about an hour, hour and a half of stint. Yeah. If it's three of us, ideally, it's about two hours of stint. So we'll have to, uh, we'll really have to try to figure out if Bully and Doug are still all up for it you know and then try to plan around for it so yeah because i want to do it i mean I, i'm definitely good there you're good there I did. we learned it so so all right i'm gonna end this video off there so if you all enjoy leave a like subscribe see you all in the next one